Hi, welcome back to the MuleSoft Tutorials. This is Akash and in this video, we'll discuss about the JMS that is Java Messenger Queue. We'll use Active and MQ to implement this thing. So to start it, let's first we'll create one new project. First of all, I will let you know what is MQ. MQ basically is a message queue where we send the message and store in a queue format and then we can get the message from the queue in first in first out that is FIFO form. So to start with first we will create a new project we will go to new new project here let's say MQ proj click finish this will create my project and any point studio and then I need to install MQ on my local so for that we need to first uh, Install MQ from a lo local, so just go to google.com and search any point Apache active MQ getting started. Go to the go to your first screen, first URL, and then just go down for Windows if you're using Windows just install for the windows and there's a prerequisite like hardware and software required for that so I'm right now doing for windows so I click on download and uh, I want to download the latest version so click on activemq5.15.5 and here this is a download link after clicking this link this will download one zip file which I already downloaded on my local so after clicking this link it's asking me to download so I, I already have this thing so I will cancel I'll do cancel right now and go to my location so this is my file I will extract this and I will get this folder so this is my MQ and this is the active MQ jar which we will use in our project so to start MQ we'll go to bin and inside bin we need to go to CMD so this is the location from where we need to start and this is the batch file batch file for to start the active MQ so we'll write active MQ dot bat space start yeah, space start click on enter so this will start my any point MQ And the default port for MQ is 8161. So to check the MQ, just go to here and then click local host. You can see 816861 is the default port. So let 8161 enter. This will redirect me to the any point active MQ. So I'll click on manage MQ broker. Here it's working on name is localhost, desktop name is this. And uh, we'll go to queues. Here there's no queue right now, so we'll create one queue. Let's say my queue name is test. Queue is my queue name. I will create this. So here you can see that number of pending messages are zero, number of consumers are zero, number enqueued zero, and message dequeued zero. So here we are ready with the queue. Now we'll go and create our project in Endpoint Studio. To start with, I will do HTTP. I'll drag HTTP over here, and here I will do the configuration for it. So all the interfaces 8081 is fine. In path, I will give MQ so that we can easily determine which which is our API so while calling. So I, what I will do, I will use post operation to post something on Q. So what we'll do, we'll first we'll get in a JSON format, we'll convert into an object. So object to string we'll use to convert that into a string. And then we'll try to log our input request. 
I will do hash payload and then I will put JMS connector. So for this, we just we, this will be one way right now because we are just pushing the pushing our data in MQ. So it's one way. We'll write the queue name. The queue name should be the same which we have given at the time of creating a queue. So it's a test queue. So I'll say test queue and here I will do the configuration. I click on plus JMS active MQ. Click on OK. Uh, here I will click on so broker URL for right now is TCP localhost 61616 is the default one which we are using right now. And here do specification v1 v1.1 and in username I will put admin and password is admin. So this is the default username and password for active MQ. Click on OK and then I think we are good to go. So we'll save this. One more thing. So to implement any point MQ, we need any point MQ active MQ jar. To implement active MQ, we need active MQ jar. So we'll go and click on my project. We'll go to build path, configure build path. And here I will click on add external jars. So inside my that zip folder, we have one jar that is active MQ all 5.1.15 jar. Click OK. OK. And I click on OK. So this will we have in reference library. I can see my jar. So so let's start with this. So I right click on my project and go to run and click on mule application. So this will run my mule application. After successfully successfully got deployed on local, I will use Postman to hit my request. So my request was post. My my URL was localhost 81 MQ, and in body go to raw and JSON. I will give name as Akash. I will try to send it. Okay, so we can go and check. Here the payload is Akash and we JMS start patching. JMS received the message. We can go to Chrome and we can refresh this. We can see one message enqueued. Okay, so to basically to this is to push the message in queue to retrieve the message in queue. We'll use the same JMS, but we will use as an inbound connector. So I drag JMS from here. I click on JMS. Then uh, this will be request response will be Q. Q name is the same test Q. And here I will queue the same one I can use ActiveMQ, ActiveMQ and then save it. What I will do, I will try to log the response that is the what whatever is in the queue. I will do response. I will click hash payload. Now I will save this. So this will automatically deploy on local. So here we can see. So it deployed on local and JMS inbound fetches the data from the queue and shows me over here. As we can see is NQ. I will refresh this. So we can say DQ is also one. So in this way, we can create our own queue. We can push messages in queue. We can retrieve the message on from the queue. And uh, yes, we can do the any kind of stuff with that message. So this is basically used when we have thousands of messages we need to store in some location and then one by one we need to retrieve it. So here yeah, everything looks good to me. I think here there are more configuration you can do like number of maximum read deliveries, number of consumers, there are four right now, cache, we want to cache the session. 
properties number of reconnection we can do what is the frequency of reconnection and attempts yeah so in this way we can use uh, java message services jms to push any message in queue and to retrieve the message on from the queue and then do whatever we want to do with that message so maybe you can practice by your own try to create your own queue try to push the message try to retrieve the message and see how things are going so that's it for this video see you in next video thank you